guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And so for today's video, we are going to talk about Chrome extensions for students. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be part of the hashtag DindirinDinFam. Of course, click on the notification bell for you to be notified on my next video. So yes, these Chrome extensions are for students. Most importantly, for making your designs on your PowerPoint presentations, flyers, or any other assignments that design is involved. So I hope this helps you because it helped me a lot. So without further ado, let's get started with a video. We're due. So this is the first Chrome extension and this is really helpful in constructing your sentences for your essay or your thesis. So Wordtune rewrites your sentences automatically and you just have to type in your sentence then if you're not satisfied with your sentence construction or your words and you just have to highlight or type in your sentence then you're, if you're not satisfied with it Highlight that sentence, then click the Wordtune logo, and voila, it, as just easy as that, there will be choices in which you could choose from. And the catch here is, you only have 18 rewrites per day. So if you want to have unlimited rewrites, you have to pay for the pro. And of course, you gotta choose your rewrites wisely. So this is really, really helpful if you are not that good in sentence construction and I highly recommend this one and this is so far the best one Chrome extension that I have for my essays emails of course because I'm working right now so yeah this is a good Chrome extension if you do not really like sentence construction so yeah so next is light shot this Chrome extension is a must because I use this all the time, even when I'm not studying. So Lightshot is what I like about this, what I love about this is you can take screenshot of any website or any part of it. So you can take a screenshot of just a portion or the whole thing. Then my favorite part is you can edit and draw on the photo. So let's say you want to highlight a word or draw a rectangle on the screenshot, of course, you can save it or copy it. There's also a direct print and you can upload it on the printscr.com. So if you upload it, it will generate a link wherein you can send the link to another person and you don't have to save your screenshot. So this is a good file space saver. One of my favorite feature is that you can also search similar images on Google. So how amazing is that? Would definitely recommend this Chrome extension because it has never failed me. I have been using this for two years already. So this is my to-go Chrome extension. So while Lightshot doesn't really take a screenshot of the entire web page, well, this Chrome extension literally does the job. So Go Full Page is an expert on taking screenshots of the entire web page, from the nav or the header to the footer. Or if you have PDFs, this also works on them. So just click on the icon. It will just take a few seconds to generate the photo. You have an option to save it as an image or a PDF. So of course, you can crop and add the drawing, uh, you can also put on stickers, blur some parts that would save time because you can edit it right after you take a screenshot. So what's good about this is you can also see a history of websites you took a photo of. And this is a go-to for me because I am a web designer and I love taking screenshots of my favorite web design. So yeah, this is a good Chrome extension for me. Oh well, if you, when we say a time saver, this Chrome extension is definitely the one. If you need photos from a website, this is for you. I mean, yes, you can right click and then save an image, right? But this Chrome extension will detect all the images on the website. 
then you can save the photos instantly. You can also save multiple photos and just just click on the box and check everything that you need and this tool detects the icons of the website so this is totally cool and before i had to do the inspect element so on just to download on an icon or logo on a website the photos are also the same quality and size as they were on the website the tool doesn't make the photos have low resolution so i love this Chrome extension which is the image downloader so I hope you download this too you get this Chrome extension too because uh, I love saving images and put it on my designs of course and if you love designing uh, students also make presentations for their for their class right so if you love designing PowerPoints posters and so on yes this is a chrome extension for you so you can also use this when making uh, powerpoint presentations editing photos posters and etc so colorzilla is basically a color picker on google chrome if you like a color on a random website or a random photo you can just click on the colorzilla icon and then select pick color from the page and after that choose the color that you like then the hex code automatically copies on your clipboard so you can also see the color history wherein you can also see the past colors that you picked and you can also view the hsl and rgb codes so for the ux designers there's also a feature wherein there's the ultimate css gradient generator it generates gradient colors to css all you have to do is copy and paste it on your code project and for the students when you say that i'm i'm sure that you use canva nowadays right so when you put on the color of course there is an option that you you'll choose a color with a hex code so this is a good tool when you like a certain color on a website or a photo right so yeah this helps of course since there are lots of powerpoint presentations or posters for your homework or your assignment uh, you need to choose a color right and of course you need to choose a font so Fonts Ninja is definitely a hero. I mean, if you like a font on your website, you can actually detect it with this Chrome extension. So click on the Font Ninja logo and in just a few seconds, the fonts used on the website will appear. So what's good is you can download it directly. So just click on the info, then select download this font. When you hover your mouse on the text, you can see the font used, the font size, the font weight, font color, and spacing. So I super duper love this tool or this Chrome extension. And I hope you get this too because Fonts Ninja is definitely a lifesaver. Well, more about colors. Yes, we have that. Site palette automatically generates a color palette of the website you are in. So let's say you have a certain website and yeah, I think the color palette of this website is cool. So yes, this Chrome extension, I mean, this will help you with your designs or your PowerPoint presentations. So if you are a UX designer or a user experience designer, this is perfection. So just click on the site palette icon and yes, the palettes are automatically generated. So they're not just one, but it will generate like um, four, four palettes and you just have to copy the hex codes copy the hex codes that you like and paste it on your design so you can save it on adobe swatch or sketch template so you can also open it on coolers.co and google palette so i have seen a lot of chrome extensions video here on youtube but but since i love designing i love art and i'm an, actually an artist so what i want is when i open a new tab i can see i want to see inspirations i want to see 
websites or like Pinterest, right? So when I open a new tab, I would like to see news news or trends about design. So mostly, I, I don't want to, I don't know how to say this, but mostly is a must for designers like me. So when you open a new tab, you can see design news, design inspirations, color palettes, fonts, and everything about design basically. Well, when you love art and design, you can just crawl through your new tab and instantly get inspired by the works of Musley. So works are from Behance, Dribble, Awards, Sidebar, CSS Tricks, Design You Trust, and other art and design websites. And of course, you can customize your feed and see what's trending. So this is a must-have when you want inspirations for your designs or your PowerPoint presentations or your assignments because yeah, design is a must on our school nowadays, right? So you should get Musly too. So yes, that is it for today's video. I hope these Chrome extensions help you and I hope you download all of them, if not some. And thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to be part of the hashtag TheAndreaDreamFam. Of course, click on the notification bell for you to be notified on my next videos. And of course, stay safe, God bless, and don't forget to be a blessing to other people. Bye! God bless!